Look, I know this isn't going to be very easy, but I was just all alone out there in the world, and I got so scared because all I could think about was how I had no place in this world, and then out of nowhere I realized that I did have a place in this world, and it was with you, so I flew, and I took a taxi, thank God, you. Oh, I I'm sorry, you're, you're not. I'm sorry, I'm looking for a Daniel Harding. Do you know a Daniel Harding? You're... Looking for a Daniel Harding. Yeah, he lives here. I thought, but... Oh, he doesn't, does he? Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so embarrassed. Who is this woman and what is she doing here? <laughs> I just honestly thought he'd be here. I always thought he'd be here, always. Oh, do you know him? Big guy, big strong guy, played hockey. Do you know him? Well. Oh, oh, don't even answer that. That was, oh, that was such a horrible question to ask someone who lives in a small town. As if everybody in small towns lives everybody else. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't live here anymore, but when I did, I hated when people zoomed. I knew in town, I knew everybody in town just because it was small. I mean, because, you know, you know who you know, and you don't know who you don't know, just like anywhere else. I'm so sorry that bothered you. It's just, when his parents passed, he kept the house, I heard. He stayed here. He lived here. He was one of the ones who did. I, I did it. I went away. Most people do. Yeah, and... I guess he did too, and I guess I lost track of time. You know, you gotta hold on to people or you lose them. Wish there was something you could keep him in for. Whoop, there he is, perfect. <laughs> Boy, it's cold, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, well. <clears throat> I can't believe I took a taxi from Bangor to see him. That's far. Yeah. That's a 163 miles. Yeah, this, this place is a little farther away from things than I remember. Why did you do that? Well, because I could only fly as close to Bangor and I needed to get to him as fast as I could. Why? Because I needed to answer a question he asked me. Oh? Last time I saw him, he asked me a very important question and I didn't answer him. And that's just not a very nice thing to do to a person. Oh, that's being a little hard on yourself, don't He you? asked me to marry him. Oh. And you... Didn't answer him, no. That's why I'm here, to answer him. Well, I mean, I didn't answer him in the first place because I didn't have an answer at that time. I was going off to college and the night before I go off to do what I hope and do, to do what I dream, he asked me, will you marry me? I mean, come on, what was I supposed to say? I don't know. I mean, I told him I'd think it over overnight and I'll be back before the sun came up with an answer and... And I left. I left him standing right there and... I did come back with an answer before the sun came up or... Or at all. Well, that sounds like an answer to no, me. No, 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 that was that wasn't my answer and, and I think that... What? I, I think he thought I'd say yes. Oh. A guy is probably not going to ask a girl that question unless he thinks she's going to say yes. Yeah, I, I know, and I'm afraid he waited up all night waiting for me to come by. And I just want to let him know that I know now that you can't not answer a question like the one he asked me. You can't do that to a person, especially to someone you love. You loved him? Well, I, I don't know if... I mean, we were kids. Yes, I, I did. I, I do. Oh, I feel like I dashed his hopes and dreams. Oh, come on. You give yourself too much credit. He was young. That's all you need to get your hopes dashed. Be young and... Everybody starts out young, so... Everybody gets their hopes dashed. Besides, I don't really think you dashed his hopes. Because if you dash somebody's hopes, well... That's a nice way of saying no, cause it hurts, but it's quick. Now if you would have said no, that would have been dashing his hopes. 
Father, you didn't say no. You said nothing. You just left him standing there without an answer. That's killing hope the long, slow, painful way. Because it's still there, just never really goes away. And it's like giving someone a little less air to breathe every day till they die. Yeah! Okay, well, thank you. For what? I don't even know. Goodbye, Hope. Good goodbye. Look, I'm so sorry to have bothered you. It was just, I was all alone out there in the world and I got so scared and all I could think about was how I had no place in this world and, and, and wait, you, you called me Hope. How did you know my name? Danny! Danny, oh. I didn't recognize you. I know. I didn't even recognize I you. I did recognize I know. you. You're so, uh, thin. I guess you could say I've lost a lot of hope. <laughs> That'll do a number on you. Oh, Danny, I'm so sorry. Shh, you know what? You're early. Huh? You're early. You said you'd be back here with an answer before the sun came up, and geez, and crow it only went down a couple hours ago. Look how early you are. That's good of you. So, a taxi all the way from, Go from Bangor? Yup. To tell me? Honey, Dan, hun, who's there? Just so many needed directions. But it's also late for directions. Yeah, Susan.